Desmond Diabetes Institute, the School Oral Health Program of Kuwait, Kuwait University, and the Forces Institute of Boston have combined their talents to conduct a clinical study of obesity in Kuwaiti children. In the Kuwait Healthy Life Study, over 8,000 Kuwaiti children participated. Here is more on this topic and this report by Salem al -Kandari. In this symposium entitled The Future of Diabetes Prevention in Kuwait, four speakers outlined their vision of new directions proposed as a result of four years into a five-year study. And I'm here today to participate in a symposium that will be held with four speakers. And what we will try to do is to outline from our point of view what we feel preventative measures would be applicable to the people of Kuwait to control the problem of overweight in children. Well, there are many different types of results. Uh, in my own research that I will review, I will discuss some of the findings that we came, we came upon in studying uh, analysis of saliva. In our case, we took no blood samples from these children, and we studied almost 8,000 children in this study. And from that, we have found that uh, one of the important observations is that the insulin levels of obese children is three times higher than normal children. And we think that that may have something to do with the problem of obesity. In fact, we find that almost 90% of the obese children have elevated insulin levels. And we think this is an important observation. We have also seen that there is a 12% increase in obesity in the two years that we have studied this, from 2011 to 2014, a 17% increase in high blood pressure, and a almost 50% increase in low good cholesterol, which is a, an important measure of the potential of atherosclerosis in the future. So we really feel like we're on to a very, very important area and we're hoping that we can offer some suggestions on how to cure and deal with the problem at large. So this is the main idea, two things, school oral health and the product with, project with Dasman. Dasman is very, very helpful institute for this and also dental school here is very much involved with us. So there are four groups. It was found that insulin levels in obese children were three times that of normal weight children. It is suggested that high blood insulin levels may be an important trigger of the weight gain seen in these children and potentially a factor to control to reduce risk of diabetes. The Future of Diabetes Preventions in Kuwait was the title of the scientific symposium at Desmond Diabetes Institutes. Various institutes had collaborated to tackle the issues of diabetes. Among them is the problem of obesity in children in Kuwait, which is on the increase and must be addressed and solutions must be found. And among them is rapid and continuous exercise. From Desmond Diabetes Institute, this is Al Kandiri reporting for the week in 30 minutes.